Well, today is the second day of the All Africa Futures Forum at uh, the Wits University, which sees speakers and delegates from across the continent. Transforming Africa's future is the theme for this three-day conference in a time characterized by kidnapping, violence and protests amongst many challenges. I'm now joined by Rasigan uh, Maharaj uh, from UNESCO and Professor Ayang Nyongos of, uh, of Kenya. Very good uh, morning to both of you. Uh, Rasigan, just tell us a little bit about, uh, uh, about uh, this All Africa Futures Forum. The All Africa Futures Forum is convened this year uh, in partnership with UNESCO. Um, the sub Southern African uh, node of the Millennium Project and Wits University, who are hosting us, brings together a range of futures practitioners and people concerned about the future of Africa to discuss uh, what lies ahead of us. Mm. Okay. Now, obviously, Senator uh, Nyongo, you're from Kenya, but uh, how would you uh, sort of broadly looking at the African continent at the moment see its, uh, its success or, or non-success on a global scale? Well, on a global scale, <coughs> Africa has made quite some substantial achievements the last couple of years. Uh, if you look at African economies, economic growth is, is quite appreciable in many countries, but at the same time, we have problems that come with growth. Gross inequalities, uh, some of African countries have the biggest problems of social inequality. At the same time, the stability of nations is questionable. We have uh, an avalanche of uh, insecurity and violence in many countries. Uh, so these are the challenges facing governments and the nation state. And so we must look at both. While we support economic growth, we must look for systems of government that provide more democratic governance and stability and what I call a place to feel at home for the African people. Mm. Obviously, I'd like to focus on two areas that are in the news at the moment. Uh, Nigeria, uh, recently obviously been voted as uh, the, the biggest economy in Africa, but yet have some serious uh, uh, political problems within the country. A lot of South Africans don't understand those political problems. Could you try and sort of uh, uh, open that, that issue up for us? It's not easy to understand really uh, in, in a short uh, kind of discussion what goes on in Nigeria. But uh, let's put it this way, Nigeria is a very diverse country with several states and with diverse cultures and religions and, and of course with a tremendous oil wealth which has had for a very long time but an oil wealth which has not been used very well for the development of the people. So there was some very entrenched resentment on how the government has been manage, managing the oil wealth in the nation. There are some very strong resentment on the patterns and characters of social inequalities in Nigeria. And some of this resentment can be expressed in ways that are absolutely unconventional, like um, the Abaku Boko Haram. You really don't understand why people should irrationally kill others or kidnap them. But you have to understand that they, they are Nigerians and they have some grievances against society. So one must understand these grievances. One must at the same time make sure that these unconventional ways of expressing grievances and hurting others in society are prevented. Now, of course, the Nigerian government is trying to do this. It's not very easy because the capacity of the Nigerian state to respond to Boko Haram perhaps is, is, is wanting, and therefore it needs perhaps some help from outside to, to deal with Boko Haram. Mm. Now, Raskin, just explain to us uh, UNESCO, their involvement in this, and, uh, and what work they're doing. Uh -huh. uh, UNESCO is part of the United Nations, one of the family of organizations, specifically concerned with education and science. So broadly framed, it's about knowledge itself. You know? I think just a corrective, I'm not the representative of okay. UNESCO itself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. from the Millennium Node. UNESCO okay. is a partner with us in the event. Okay. But very much like you had framed the question earlier, we see a lot of numbers that tell us about Africa. Mm. The actual practices underpinning the numbers require much deeper conversations mm. so that we can understand the complexities mm. involved mm. itself. What is the Millennium Node then? The Millennium Node brings together futures practitioners. And in this instance, what we do is we analyze what's happening today, look at the trends that are established and where they possibly lead us to. In other words, we create scenarios about the future. Mm -hmm. We use that then to measure in terms of the type of progress the professors indicated mm. we're achieving, the degree to which it's sustainable and actually brings about the type of change we want on the continent. Mm. 
Professor, you, are you uh, a, a guest speaker? What will you be covering uh, in your addresses? Well, I gave the keynote address at the, the conference, and my responsibility was really to look at the whole issue of future studies. When we do future studies, what do we actually do? We take a leap forward into the future, 60 years from today, 100 years from today, and we say, well, if we want Africa to be uh, a better continent 160 years from today, what should we do between now and then? What are some of the obstacles in achieving our goals that we need to, to look into? Uh, what are some of the initiatives we need to take in Africa to get there? And in order to get there, we need to, to depart from some received ways of doing things. For example, we were just discussing on our way here, mm. is it really practical, is it really in the interest of Africans to continue with simple majoritarian democracy? Mm. Uh, if elections every five years leave a substantial part of the people outside government with tremendous grievances, mm. well, others rule. Okay, mm -hmm. then five years subsequently, a, group, a new group comes in. So we keep on retreating grievances in the nation. Can we ever become a political community mm -hmm. with one destiny where mm -hmm. everybody feels at home, as it were? And these are some of the questions that we, yeah. we, 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 we seek to, to address, mm -hmm. looking to the future. Well, we appreciate uh, your time. Obviously, uh, sorry, we're just out of time. We've got to head uh, to headlines. Uh, that's, uh, uh, is anyone able to uh, come to these talks? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so that's taking place uh, uh, 26th to the 28th. That's at the Witz School of Governance uh, in Parktown in Johannesburg. Get down uh, and uh, listen to some of those interesting talks. That's the All Africa Futures Forum. Appreciate your time, guys, this morning. We're going to take a short break. All your headlines up after this. Stay tuned.